Hello. Today we are going to create some grid synths using the inbuilt or some of the inbuilt Cubase uh, functionality. I recently discovered this uh, this week, uh, and it's been hugely helpful in um, very quickly coming up with some repeatable yet random um, complex lead lines. Let's have a listen to how it sounds initially, and then I will explain what is happening and how we go about it. Let's have a listen. So you get the picture, I am sure. Let's have a look at what's happening. We have this MIDI channel here, which is set up on a hotkey to generate random note lengths and also random velocities. Uh, it's the velocity which is the important one in this um, picture. So let's just play with this and see what it returns. By simple hotkeys, you can generate repeatable um, but random patterns. The benefit of, of that is that you don't need to go back and cherry pick the best bits. Uh, you know that it's always going to be the same every time you play it back. Um, and yet it's still in MIDI, so it's still flexible, should you wish to change it later. What is happening in this situation is that, as I said before, this velocity then is spat out into these individual VST instruments. And then we have a filter in each of these to, um, to filter off what isn't applicable for each of those channels. So let's look at that in detail. In the initial channel with the MIDI, this is a MIDI channel. This is not an instrument channel. So in the MIDI channel, in the sends, we are sending this signal to lead one, lead two, lead three, and lead four, which is one, two, three, four. Uh, at that stage, if we left it there, every one of these would, would, would receive exactly the same uh, input, which would just be a mess. We don't want that. We therefore need to go into MIDI modifiers here and then filter out what we don't want for each channel. So for channel one, we have a filter on the range, on the velocity, to filter everything that isn't in the range of 1 to 25. In channel two, we then move up to the next bracket, we have 26 to 50. So everything that isn't in that range is excluded. The same for three, which is 51 to 75. And again, for four, which is 76 to 100. As we all know, velocity goes to 127. So the reason why I didn't use 127 was simply because it's easier in my mind to divide 100 by four than it is 127 by four. So that when I'm doing it manually, um, rather than random, as we saw earlier, I know exactly which one of these four uh, synths it will spit out to, rather than having to get a calculator out. So we can prove this in a little bit um, more detail by doing a dem demonstration. Let's have a look here. Let's just put everything up and we will select, let's go for lead one first. So we know that is 1 to 25, so let's do 20, and then listen to how it sounds.
only coming out of lead one. Let's try with lead two. through two three and four and they consistently dropped down or played at the next instrument so what this also means is by extension we can just do something like this and it will go from um, synth uh, 80 which we know that is four and then synth or velocity 19 which we know is one so we should go from four to one let's see if that's true get back to how it was with a simple random and then it should flick between all four generating a completely new pattern okay so now let's create that from scratch. Let's create a MIDI. This is just a general MIDI pattern now, so all you'll hear is just the GM piano. We don't want that. Let's give it something to play. We will add an instrument. Let's go with silent. There we go. We then need to feed these, the trigger into silent. We do that by going down to our MIDI sends down here, turn it on, and then we select silent one here. Let's see if that's work. Brilliant, it's receiving signal. Now let's give it a nice sound to play. Let's go to my silence bank. Uh, let's pick one. Let's go with, let's just try this. There we go. I like that one for the first one. Duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. We need to send it to the next one, the next one, and the next one. As I said in the summary, at the moment, this is all receiving equal signal. So that would be a big horrendous mess. We need to filter that now by putting our range filter on, which is uh, the velocity filter. For the first channel, we want 1 to 25. Channel 2, we want 26 to 50. Third one we want 51 to 75, and the final one we want 76 to 100. Um, you might be asking why I didn't do 127. Uh, the answer is just a case of, of simple maths. I like to divide, well I find it easier to divide. 100 by 4, then 127 by 4. Uh, but having said that, I could perhaps go to 120, which I can just do increments of 30. But let's leave it as it is now for now. 
now let's have a, well first of all I will group these so then I can mute at a time add track group um, grid There we go, all nice and neat in that folder. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Just putting it into the grid group. It's all coming through that grid group now. But as we saw, or well you might, might may have seen, that it was only coming through this last silence. That is because we have consistent velocity still. Let's randomize that. Select all, shift R, random. So, excellent. We can see it alternating between one, two, three, and four. However, it's playing the same sound because we duplicated the channel. That defeats the entire purpose of what we're trying to achieve. We want variety. So let's just solo this group and we will select channels as we go, or sounds as we go. So there we go, self-generating, consistently random, if that isn't an oxymoron, grid sense in Cubase. There we go, hopefully that helped, bye.